Restriction enzyme digestion is performed to cleave or cut specific regions in the circular plasmid vector aimed to insert a foreign DNA generating a recombinant plasmid. RE digestion is also used in fragmentation of genomic DNA to construct a DNA library. Restriction digestion uses restriction endonucleases or restriction enzymes, RE, which recognizes specific DNA sequences or restriction sites about 6 to 8 base pairs. Most RE recognizes palindromic DNA sequences, which generates DNA strands having the same sequence when read from 5' prime to 3' prime direction. RE digestion may produce DNA fragments with bland ends, no overhang, characterized by DNA fragment that end with a base pair, or sticky ends, stubborn cat, characterized by DNA fragment that end with a short nucleotide overhang. RE digestion uses commercially available restriction enzymes, which can be determined upon examining the sequence of the plasmid vector. Online bioinformatics pipelines are available to examine restriction enzyme sites and corresponding restriction enzymes to be used for DNA cloning. The objectives of this activity are to explain the principle of RE digestion and to learn how to perform RE digestion of genomic and plasmid DNA. The materials include genomic DNA, plasmid DNA, restriction enzymes, RE buffer, 0.1% bovine serum albumin, sterile 1.5 ml microcentrifuge tubes, micropipettes and pipette tips, ice bucket, incubator, gel electroporesis machine, gel casting stand, gel tray and well comb, blue light trans eliminator, 1x TAE buffer, agarose powder, 1kb DNA ladder, 6x DNA gel loading dye, ultra power DNA safe dye, and sterile distilled water. Determine the restriction enzymes to be used for RE digestion. RE sites present in the multiple cloning site or MCS are often used since it will not cut elsewhere in the plasmid vector. Make sure that the RE to be used for cutting the DNA and plasmid vector has compatible cleavage sites in order to insert the DNA into the plasmid using complementary base pairing with the aid of ligase. Tor agents on ice bucket. Combine RE reaction in 1.5 ml microcentrifuge tube. The RE reaction includes sterile water, 1x RE buffer, 0.1% BSA, DNA template, and the restriction enzyme. Make sure the volume of enzyme does not exceed 10% of the final volume. If performing double digestion using two different enzymes, make sure to use buffer where both enzymes are active. Gently mix by tapping the tube and briefly centrifuge to spin down contents. Incubate tubes at 37 degrees Celsius for 10 seconds. Incubation time should be optimized depending on the activity of the enzyme. Then inactivate reaction at 65 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. Place the reaction on ice pocket immediately after enzyme inactivation to prevent non-specific degradation of DNA. Load samples in 0.7% agarose gel. Include uncut genomic DNA or plasmid vector as negative control. This result shows an actual gel image of genomic DNA digestion 
using SAW 3A1 restriction enzyme. Uncut GDNA is shown labeled U. Digestion was performed using increasing volume of restriction enzyme from A to D. Digested GDNA showed smears due to the fragmentation of the DNA made by the SAW 3A1 restriction enzyme. After RE digestion, DNA fragments can be excised from the gel and purified for cloning and sequencing. Clone DNA fragments in plasmid digested with compatible restriction enzyme. This result shows an actual gel image of PHSG398 plasmid digested with XBA1 restriction enzyme. The circular plasmid DNA was cleaved at one RE site producing a linearized plasmid showing similar fragment size with the uncut plasmid DNA. Bands on the gel image shows larger size due to the additional weight added by the ultra power DNA safe dye. This result shows an actual gel image of PHSG398 plasmid DNA cut with two restriction enzymes, XBA1 and DRA1. Three distinct bands are visible due to the two cuts made by DRA1 and one cut made by XBA1.